Hello, fuck boys. I'm back. It's part two of Red Dead Redemption D two. Dos. Uh, this video is going to be different from the first one because uh, we're not in some epilogue shit anymore. And I have my brother here, like actually in person with me. Hello. Hello. Hi. Oh, he's going to teach me how to Red Dead. So um, I'm here in the house. Um, I actually loaded back in the game and it put me somewhere else. But I walked back over here. Uh, and I, I did. We did a little bit of testing before we started recording, uh, oh just God. to make sure the audio levels are good. We talked to a couple of these guys, but they they don't say much, honestly. Um, I've already, yeah, won't let me greet them a second time. Oh well, they don't say much. They're kind of assholes. Uh, oh well, I haven't spoken to Dutch actually. Let's 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 say hello to Dutch. Hey Dutch, how you doing? Okay there, Dutch. Thank you. Thank you for bringing John back. Finally, some relief. No problem. There you go, some reference to how far we are in the story. All, Good. All two missions in. Yes, yes, I've only done two missions. The, the, just just for reference, the uh, last video, uh, or sorry, the first video, even though the edit was 10 minutes, um, the whole thing was 47, or actually 48 minutes. So, I have no idea where to go from here. Uh, go, I guess go there's see just Peter mission thing, things. man, in, in that dark alcove there oh okay right because there's there's these mission things on screen you know grand theft auto style there's mission things so right on screen and you've got to go over to them um also wow I, i'm still in love with the graphical um ability what, what am i saying i'm still in love with, with the graphics of this game it's great honestly all right pearson uh l2 greet We're okay we have a few cans of food and a rabbit for what 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. <laughs> we were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking savage, life, holy fuck. I wasn't able to get supplies in. Yeah, off is ruthless, like you don't give a fuck. Real cowboy. trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. Yeah. Sorted, salted awful. Oh, salted awful, that's grim. Wait, what did he say? I missed that. He, he's like, we're starving, I need something to eat, and he threw him a jar of salted awful. Ugh. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is a Charles is a good character. Come along. Nice. I like the way you see all the characters evolve as you play through the game. Hmm. Like Sadie, she becomes a really good character in this. You take this. Yeah, that's a good question, actually. Um, can horses survive in in a winter setting? Are their coats actually that thick? I suppose they have a really thick hide. I believe so, but like it gets to a point where they will freeze. Come on. Well, yeah, any animal would freeze in really low temperatures, wouldn't they? All right, we're on a horse again. Throwback to part one. We're on the we're on the horse. He's horsing. I may have forgotten how to camel, but I know how to horse. Um, yeah, you just shit at camel. Of course. One day we will have to go back and 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 like do do like an anniversary video for Metal Slug or something. Maybe in a few years, if we still remember, because <laughs> that was a good series. There's other games that are like that. Yeah, I'm sure, but I don't have the ability to record them anymore. The fucking special effects on this. They are beautiful. I do, I do, like, when I played uh, Skyrim Remastered, right, obviously the only thing they did graphically was they, they um, raised the texture quality a bit on, on all the stuff in the game. Um, and then they added in, you know, the shading uh, stuff from, from some of the shader mods that existed on, on, on the computer, but obviously dumbed down a bit. So you had things like God Rays and stuff. And I mean that 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 was great. That that was a great you know graphical upgrade to a game that obviously needed it. But in comparison to it, it still looks plain. In like. comparison, that's what I was about to say. In comparison, it still looks plain compared to the, the amount of like graphics in this game. The the, the amount of detail. I mean, sorry, not graphics. Um, the the level of detail to every single object. You know, even even down to the to the trees and the the little bushes on the ground. You know, they're all so expertly placed and to look natural. That fog as well. The fog effects on this are brilliant. Like mm. when you get to Saint Denis, and slightly north of Saint Denis is like the swamp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you go in there, like in the morning, for instance, when the sun's coming up, 
and it's just full of fog. It's so effective. Mm. Let's look down this way. I mean, I, I, I like um, my favorite thing to look at so far in, in you know this beginning part of the game is the, the way the snow reacts to the characters and and uh, the animals. You know, uh, I like the fact that even down to like even look, look the, even the water moves with the horse. Oh shit. No horsey, don't don't do that. You know, like um, when your horse is dirty as well. If you like walk him through a river, it washes him off. I've heard, yeah, I, I've I've heard the level of detail that this game actually gets into. If if you you know, get right into it. Um, but 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 I mean, like like I was saying, even little details. Like I'm pretty damn sure these uh, these branch things are copy and paste, but. At the same time, I, I, I can't see it a lot of the time. It feels so natural that you just don't sort of see if it's copy and paste, even though it might possibly be. You need to get the bow from your horse. Right, well, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that. Hey, horsey, uh, L1 for your stored weapons, and it's, uh, yeah. Oh, wait, no, that's the shotgun. Okay, so how do I get the bow? Oh, is Try it... like one. See these flashing saddlebags on the left. Oh, okay. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Come on. Grab that ball off the horse. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult to get used to, but I, I think I'll get it eventually. And press L3 to crouch. Uh, yeah, they said that in the last one. Okay, we're hunting for deer, are we? So where's the deer? You see the tracks? I think so. Ah, yes, tracks. Focus. L3 and R3 and it tracks the... If you press it, it'll show you the actual tracks of the animals. Oh, L3 and R3? Yeah. Wait, the which two, one's it? Two sticks in. No, press the two sticks in like buttons. Oh, oh okay. It shows you the animal's path. And you can press R1 to focus on that track. I want. Uh, see now you can see it glowing on the floor without without that. Look. Oh, okay. Well, that, but like I say, sneak because you're tracking a deer. I see the deer. It's drinking down by the river. Yeah, try and get down him in there. the head. You see him? I see him. Are you ready with that bow? Try to hit him in the neck or head. Quick and clean. Okay. Quite hard. You feel when it's too much. Yeah, the longer you hold, you lose control. No. Oh shit. We need this meat. As well, yeah, it's because your stamina's gone down. Right, how do I fix that? Bring up your items. How do I do that? L1, I believe. Yeah, L1 and then R1. And then, oh, you ain't got no stamina fucking height. Oh, there you go, that one will do. Yeah. Kidney beans. Done. Okay. Now just keep tracking it. He ain't gone far anyway. Uh. Yeah, see? Okay. You're getting it. He's getting it. I'm understanding. It's a slow progression, but I'm understanding. There he is. I see him down there. Okay. Probably take him from here. Are you sure about that? The tracks, Arthur. It just as soon as that crosshair's red over him, just let go. Boom. Kill. You know what I mean? That should do. Okay. There we go. A try for another. What do you mean? There goes another one. Wait, I think there's one across the water as well. But do, just do the tracking thing, and you can see more paths where more deer have been. Oh, okay. Uh, Behind you, maybe. 
Ah, there's deer over there, is there? Yeah, that's deer. Just fucking shoot them from here. Oh, baby! You should go finish it off. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. Yeah, don't worry, it's gonna die. That that dark red uh, crosshair that you got means it was a a deadly shot. Oh, baby. Owie, baby. Uh oh. Yeah. The just, arrow I shot before just is gone. Track it like. No, no, he's 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 dead over there. Don't worry. Uh, that was exciting. I actually really like that. I don't. I think the yeah. other one ran See off. See that poor mark on the uh, on the map. Yeah. That's the dead animal you've got to go and get. Okay, cool. Good to know. I think there's another one somewhere that's... Uh... Yeah, that black paw is a dead animal. What's the white one? Is that one that, I, that is still alive but dying or something? Uh, quite possibly, yeah. I think you... Well, there... well there's one. Yeah, yeah well, there's yeah. another one that's suffering. Uh, okay, what do I, what do I, oh. I think you've got to go and put it out of its misery. Hey, what's up, my dude? You having a bit of trouble there? Square. What's up? No, I want to watch you suffer. What's up, my dude? How you doing? Well, you sinister fuck. <laughs> it died! I didn't even have to do anything. It just died without my help. Hold square to pick it up. Alright. Deer time. Alright, and then... Up on the D-pad to whistle. All right, baby, this is great. Well, that took a while. Yeah, but that's the beauty of it. You know what I mean? It makes the hunting feel really in depth. You know, I did promise in the description of the first video I'd make part two longer. So, so maybe I will highly cut this one and just uh, it will end up being twenty minutes instead of ten, or maybe twenty-five. That'd be great. Right, stow. Uh, stow the deer. All right. Awesome. Oh, I'm totally ready to head back. We got some fucking meat, boys. Uh, how do I triangle? Triangle, right? That's it. I'm so used to playing other games, I forget what the controls are for this one. Oh boy, this is great. We're real cowboys, uh, boys. Real, real cowboys, boys. The fuck. Nice work, Arthur. Nice work, other dude. Whatever your name is. Be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found. <laughs> Ooh, ah, dirty, dirty back. bastard. <laughs> so this is how good this looks on even if we do PS4. I can't imagine what it looks like on PC. On even Can you PS4. imagine the mods? Holy we'll fuck! Yeah, there'll come a there'll come a day in the future where someone will make a mod for this game that makes it look even better. Won't that be fucking weird? You have to have a beast of a PC for it. Hmm. I mean, how does a console handle this? That's what I got a question. It's yeah, it's beyond belief that a PS4 could do this. To be honest, this ain't even a PS4 Pro, you know. I mean, even a PS4 Pro, like I reckon, would make this look pretty decent as well. It'd be quite an improvement, I reckon. Definitely. Why is it such a sweaty day today? Everything she had. I wish I was. I was. I wish I was where these guys are right now. Just think of the snow. Yeah, just think of the chill snow. Jump in that icy river there. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Fucking. <laughs> you guys won't see that on recording because it doesn't show those notifications. But I just got a pop up for Conan Exiles. Intruding. Intruding on my game. An intruder. How did he get in? Intruder window. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Best fuck. joke of 2019. No, 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 that's my life. What a shit joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, he likens his life to one of them jokes you get on a penguin wrapper. A what? Oh, you mean the fucking. Oh, you mean the candy bar? I. I, I was wondering what you meant when you said candy uh, wrapper, or, or sorry, penguin. Yeah, penguin wrapper. Watch out! Watch out! Oh, it's a bear. Mm. I'll tell you what, yeah. You try and take that bear on, 
it, it literally just knocks you down and you just like dump bullets into its face and it will literally not go down you've got to have the right fucking weapons for these animals the hunting in this is no joke but when you're hunting bison for instance they're like big and strong so you hit them with a bullet and they run you know what I mean you've got to have like a poison tipped arrow for them because one hit and it's like a kill shot and it will go off and die somewhere and then you can skin it if you try chasing down a bison yeah while trying to fucking shoot it down it's hard I mean, I, I watched um, uh, someone on YouTube uh, play some of this game before I even played it, and I, I saw what the bears do, so I know what the bears do. Especially on that uh, mission with Hosea, where there's like a thousand pound golden bear that's covered in scars. It just savages you every time. Hmm. I managed to kill it one time, though. This, I, I can understand, like, the lack of patience people would have for a game like this. It's very slow paced. Um, uh, I mean, I, it has to be said, right? I could, I could definitely enjoy this game, but I would need to be in the right zone. And I, I really do appreciate this game, but I don't think I could play it. I, I think I'm probably in my right mind to, to be not playing this as of, at the moment because I'm focused on a lot of other stuff and there's a lot of other games that I'd rather be playing. This game seems like the kind of game that uh, you know, like like Skyrim was f for me for, for a long time. Just a game that I would sink myself into and play for hours and hours and hours non-stop, you know. I, I could do that with this game, definitely. But I don't think I'm in the right mindset to be doing it currently. So I'm actually kind of kind of glad I haven't played much of it. Because if I did get myself like into it, then I don't know what would happen, honestly. Considering my, my brother wants it back today as well. So yeah, I'm taking it back with me. I think I, I'm not gonna buy it tomorrow. I, I was thinking about it, but I, I think I'll, I'll leave it because I'll, I'll play it eventually. But I'm not in the right mindset for this game right now. It's 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 got to be a, a time when I feel like sitting down for hours and hours and just sinking my time into this. Same with Witcher 3, honestly, another game that I haven't played yet. It's just got to be in the right mindset. That's all. It's like, how, it's like how I feel like I could finish Sonic Mania, but I, I still haven't done that. Sonic Mania is hard, man. It's not really. I mean, I got all the way to the final uh, final level uh, on that game and, and, and almost got to the final boss, but I gave up after a few tries because I'd, I'd just been working so hard to get there and I was so tired. Um, but it, it's just practice, you know. How fucking epic that looks, man. This is really, really good looking. I, I honestly, I, I, it keeps coming up, but the graphics on this look absolutely insane. I mean, I mean, obviously we're just in a in a nature setting right now, and it's very snowy. But even the parts of the game that aren't like this, which I have seen on video, look absolutely gorgeous, like like the actual Wild West, you know. So I, I do appreciate this game in that sense. Also, also, I've just noticed that our clothes are slowly getting covered in snow. From yeah, the, from and then the... when you go into an interior, you can physically see it melting off the, off the clothing. Damn. It actually kind of makes you wonder, doesn't it, how they managed to survive in the Wild West, you know? Hit your horse. Uh, right. Hmm. Yeah, it makes you wonder how, like, these guys had to be actually seriously fit to survive in these kinds of environments in the Wild West, you know? Oh, yeah. Extreme heat, extreme cold. They did completely without civilization. Like, completely. Oh, yeah, good old uncle. Uh, work shy layabout. Uh, where he's Lombago. Lombago? Is that a type of cigar? No, his back problems. Always complaining about his Lombago. Yearned it. Jesus, what is it? <laughs> yeah. you know, sir, it's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah. Oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. <laughs> man, Charles. We'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? 
I like him. I like Arthur. He's a cheeky lad. Arthur's quality mate. Real bants. Damn, the graphic on that too. I know, mate. Like, what the fuck? They actually like fully animated. It does Although that isn't like simple. completely what skinning would look like, but that is actually genuinely well done compared to say like ripping the, the fur off an animal in another game. It does that on every animal. They they must have like actually fully animated that for every animal. Then like you physically see him pick up a squirrel, yeah, and just like rip the meat out of its chest. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. It's fucking nasty. Mr. Morgan's first decent bit of hunting. And like, you know, like uh, if you kill a deer in a wild, yeah, the meat actually goes rotten as well if you leave it. Ah. Like if you put like skins and like animal carcass on your horse and you leave it there too long without eating it or trading it in or whatever. Oh. It, it goes rotten. A, a save. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh. Hold it. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Lots of holding buttons involved here. Master Hunter 1, one of three deer skinned. Oh, good. Hey, you got to go and talk to uh, someone in that hut there, I think. B. What's up, B? Hey, what's good, my boy? What? He, he said that in a weird way. That line reading was odd. A couple of days on the lamb. You lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess you should go to a stable. You'll see plenty there. Micah's a fall, fucking arsehole, man. No fuss. When you fall, you just want someone to knock him out the entire time. <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. mm. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como O'Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? Como O'Driscoll, man, he's a fucking prick. Are you sure about this, Dutch?